Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to be kicking off the regular uploads that I'm gonna be putting out every Thursday or Friday. And these videos are just gonna be talking about a little bit about technique work for beginners. Because if I have a bunch of new subscribers who are relatively new to learning weightlifting, and a lot of people just watch weightlifting videos but never actually dive into it. So hopefully this gives you a little bit of clarity and just maybe a little bit of curiosity to try and play around with some different cues for your own weightlifting. So I'm gonna talk a little bit about where, especially when I was first learning weightlifting, how I found it quite confusing. And it was due to the fact that when a lot of people teach weightlifting for the first time, it looks a lot like this dip, hinge, and then you get taught to come back to the power position or that dip and then stand again. So it's just a lot of repetition about practicing these positions and kind of greasing and grooving into these areas. What ends up happening is most people just get a lot of back extension and end up just using their back to create the powerful action in the pull. And we don't actually get a lot of leg drive or lower body involvement. So we end up seeing a really fast deadlift. And then we end up telling our athletes or the clients that I have just to like, okay, now focus on trying to keep the elbows high. So suddenly we're kind of it's, it, it's almost counterintuitive to teach it in that regard because the, you end up having to give more information on, well, okay, if you do that power position really well and then you swoop the bar in and it starts coming away like this, no, I actually want you to use your lats. It works a lot better for you to just focus on teaching or thinking about standing up or if you don't like the cue standing up, you can just think about jumping. Jumping and standing up or just stand up is what I say to my athletes. Those two things are perfectly fine cues. You can get a lot of technical gains in the first session just by drumming into people. I want you to use your legs. I want you to think about jumping. I want you to think about putting as much force as you can into the bar more vertically than horizontally. And I find when you get people to do that dip, hinge, and then hinge and then stand. I don't really think about the movement as being hingy. I think of it as being a push and you're driving and you're thrusting that bar more vertically to put some weightlessness into the bar. So the application of something like just stand up is gonna look something like this. When we stand up with the bar from here, we'll just go down towards the knee. People just need to learn what it's like just to trace the bar against the body. So we're thinking about pushing down into the ground. We're not thinking about standing up and then creating a lot of space away from the body when we do that. So what I'll typically do is grab a bit of chalk, I might actually do that now, grab a little piece of chalk and then just brush that on the thighs. And that can be a really simple cue to just help keep people thinking about keeping the bar close to the body opposed to letting the bar trace away from them. If you don't like putting chalk on the thighs, you can also do it on the barbell. And what you can do is just put chalk on the barbell and then allow them to think about standing up. That simplifies the whole process of driving with the lower body and thinking about keeping the bar close. So you're getting two birds with one stone on that one. As far as thinking about developing that cue, when people are thinking about moving from the floor towards the knee, sometimes people will tell their athletes just to pull the knees back, and then what they'll think about is just focusing on sitting in the heels. You end up getting this big hinge rocking motion, and it just doesn't look as natural. Just think about standing up and keeping the bar close. That's why I really like using things like a snatch or a clean deadlift where you're stopping mid thigh. You can overload that exercise. It can be quite a heavy exercise, but you're working on staying over the bar and holding those postures rather than a fast deadlift and then using a lot of back extension to produce force. That is your standing, standing up cue or thinking about just stand up. So next time you go into the gym, you're at the knee, just think about standing up in your power cleans. You don't need to be thinking about dip, hinge, and those kind of things. What you can work on next is just developing a little bit more speed. So once someone's confident with just standing up from here and they're keeping the bar close and you're feeling comfortable about those positions, it might just be one or two sets. You can just take the bar down towards the knee and then just think about jumping. It's easy to do in a snatch because you're just gonna keep the elbows high and outside. In a clean, it might feel a little bit awkward and you might be thinking about pushing the bar down. If that happens, keep the knuckles towards the ground and think about scooping the bar up the body. So it might look something like this. And you're thinking about keeping the knuckles down and scooping the bar up your t-shirt. But 
scooping the bar in towards your body, sweeping the bar up the body, and then complementing that with jumping, thinking about actually producing force. When we jump, we create this proximal to distal action where we use our hips first and we create hip extension without knee extension. And that's exactly what we want in weightlifting. Those two cues, just stand up and jump, are the most simple cues you can integrate into weightlifting. There's a lot of discussion online whether or not those cues are effective. It doesn't really matter. It matters what cues work and what cues allow you to get the most out of yourself or the athlete. And I think when you're first learning to elite or more high performers, those cues work and help trigger people just to simplify their approach when they're touching the barbell, help them utilize their lats. But ultimately, if you want someone to create weightlessness into the bar, thinking about just standing up or just thinking about jumping are just really simple ways you can conceptualize weightlifting for yourself. Thanks so much guys for watching. If you enjoyed this kind of style of video where I'm just talking to the camera, I'm just ranting about some technical things, but I'm providing a little bit more practical insight onto that. These are less heavily edited and more raw. Hopefully you guys enjoy those styles of videos. If you want a program that complements everything that we've just spoken about and helps you integrate it into your own training, a four day program, I have a power program which people are loving online. You guys can check that out in the links below. Thanks so much guys, and I'll see you in the next one.